It's so dark. Making them pay today. Our boy will be strong. We'll be stronger. Well, today's workout was pretty humbling. My normal weights that I usually use felt so heavy today. So heavy. So I failed on my last uh, shoulder press or Arnold press. Oh, that was so frustrating. It's just like I've been using those weights already and I've done the, I've done the moves. But today, for some reason, it was my left arm. My my right arm was struggling too, but my left arm, like, did not do it <laughs> as much as I pushed it. I, like, retried, like, five times. Did not do it. Oh, it was so frustrating. <sighs> I do not like failing just because it's just that. Well, obviously, nobody likes to fail, but. <sighs> I do know that. My macros probably have a really good, or probably a big part in that. I'm a little low on the macros just because of the challenge and stuff. A little bit on a cut, like I've told you. So, obviously, and I usually, I usually work out fasted, but I may have to change that if I want to lift heavy still. Not work out fasted or whatever I just I like to work out fasted <laughs> like I like to save my food and my calories and stuff for just a little bit later but we'll have to see how that goes anyway I feel like I'm forgetting something all that being said and the frustrations and stuff of failing and all that sort of things it was still a pretty good workout is shoulders and legs from the first form app I think it's I think it's actually called legs and shoulders it's in the um, at home dumbbell or band workout one if uh, I'll put it on the next slide or one of these slides for you anyways it was a good one I it's one of my favorites I usually just, I circulate a bunch of um, workouts from the first form app, and then I just, uh, like I have them written down on a sticky note, and then I just go through them in order or whatever. Anyway, that's one of my favorites, so you guys should check it out. Oh, it's going to be a great day. Happy Monday. Bleh. Oh, and I was going to say that although I finished the April abs challenge that Jenna Fail had, out there I still like to finish every workout excuse me every workout with abs so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my living room and whip my abs into shape show them who's boss yeah. oh good morning guys happy Monday um, leg day today started out with some squats and then we had some sled drag and some Leg press, 
leg curls, leg lifts, leg extensions. About to do some comp weight farmer's carries. So, uh, good leg day, good leg day. Hope you're ready for an awesome week. Uh, Monday's the day we get to, well, unless you did it yesterday, Monday we get to set the stage for the rest of the week. Um, I can tell you this morning, there's a lot on my brain. Um, a little bit frustrated with all kinds of things. Um, not as strong as I want to be right now. Uh, not as far in life as I want to be right now, but it's one day at a time. And frustration never got a man anywhere. So <clears throat> kick that frustration aside. And the only time, the only reason you really have frustration is because you've lost sight of why you're doing what you're doing. So regain that reason, regain that balance, find your why, and press on, guys. I love you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, kid. What are you looking for now? Just did my arms. <sighs> this gym needs cleaned. Like, I don't know if you can tell or whatever, but the floor is just disgusting. It's gross, okay? Like, I go and I wipe down the equipment and stuff because they give you this, they give you the paper towels and spray and stuff like that. But this flooring, the floor needs cleaned. You need a vacuum, you need a sweep, you need a mop for sure. Need to empty the freaking trash can like it's just it's gross so i would i would clean in here i'm gonna have to email them or something contact them see if that if i could do that because i don't know if it's against the rules insurance purposes i don't even know so like i'll wipe shit down like i do but this freaking thing it needs clean in here it's getting gross it's getting gross so, pool update, even though you guys didn't ask for it. She looks full. But cold, that's for sure. Not quite time to swim in it yet. They still have the hose in it. Probably just a little bit more water in there. But super close to being swimming time. It's chilly right now. Got my jacket on. It's chilly out here this morning. But it is a beautiful day. Now I'm going to go up and do abs. You guys knew that already, though. See you on the flip side. Maybe.
Happy Tuesday, press day. So we did some axle press. Um, felt really good about those, felt really strong. Um, did a little bit different pre-workout mix. Uh, anyway, whew, presses went good. We did some some presses off the straps on the, on the rack, um, and then we did a flat dumbbell press and triceps. And anyway, you'll see it all in the videos. Um, so yesterday I mentioned frustration um, and I wanted to give you guys a tip on how, on one way to get out of those frustrations. Um, recognize that what you have, somebody else might not, might want. You may be living the life somebody else is dreaming of. So. Not only do you need to recognize that, but you also need to be grateful for what you have. Like, I'm extremely grateful for this gym, working in this place every day, being surrounded by amazing people, being surrounded by family. Um, and so when you stop and you start to be more grateful for what you have, not only does it send the universe really good signals to give you more of what you want, more of what you like, more of what you're grateful for, but it also helps relieve a lot of that frustration. So hopefully that helps you guys. I will see you later. I love you. Keep pushing through. I've been battling with a lot of stress and frustration here lately. Like just in my day-to-day -day life, mostly just not exactly where I want to be in life right now. With my day job especially, like it's just not something, this it's not something I want to do. Like it helps pay the bills and but it's definitely not my dream job and it's super, super stressful, super, super frustrating. Anyway, I say all that just because, like, obviously when I'm in the heat of my frustration, I don't necessarily want to talk about it because I have a big attitude and shit like that. And who wants to talk with an attitude? Anyway, the thing that helps me the most, or carries me through I should say helps me feel accomplished and like I conquered 
the day's frustration is to be grateful and say those things that I'm grateful for. Like with my day job, I am grateful that I get, that I get to do it at home in my own computer and I'm able to be with my kids and I'm able to homeschool my kids still working my day job. I am very grateful for that. Tremendously grateful, I am blessed. So when I purpose to take the time and be intentional about what I'm grateful for and be particular about what I'm grateful for, it helps. It doesn't erase the frustration. It doesn't erase the problems, but it definitely helps my attitude and my outlook on those certain situations, on those certain circumstances, whatever. It just helps my outlook on them, which in turn helps the situation because helps me realize that, you know what, as frustrating or stressful as I may think it is, or as it is for sure, like for certain, one thing is more for sure or whatever, is that I am blessed and I have a great life and I have a roof over my head and a nice apartment, nice neighborhood, like all these things that I can be grateful for, I am, I'm blessed. So be grateful for, for today. Be grateful today. And make it a point to say things that you're grateful for. Say them out loud. Even like to yourself out loud. You don't have to go shouting them through the rooftops or telling your coworkers or anything like that, even though that does help too. But just definitely say them out loud to yourself. It helps. Good morning guys um ah oh, did an absolutely beautiful ruck this morning i was carrying around 30 pounds um and it was with a group of amazing people um we went five and a half miles i uh, made it in about an hour and a half so a really good time um but it was awesome it was beautiful Started out in the dark, got to see the sunrise, and uh, it was awesome. Um, thank you, Josh, for the amazing ruck. Um, guys, you should be looking for somewhere, someplace, and the right people to be around that you can um, that you can freely express yourself. Like, be yourself around. <clears throat> uh, I am extremely grateful for where I am right now and who I get to be around and the leaders I have um, because I'm able to learn and I'm able to express who I am, what I enjoy, what I like, express my desires and be who I am without feeling weird about it or feeling pressured or feeling uh, like an outsider. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Get out there and do something new. Smile at yourself and smile at everybody else. I love you.
second slave favorite.